Hello everybody, this video is about structured logging with the S-Log package for the Go programming language. This video is divided into two parts. In the first part, we will cover the concept of structured logging. In the second, we will have a look how we can write structured logs in Go. So let's first understand what structured logging is. In essence, structured logging is about creating logs that are more than just simple plain text messages. They are written in a well-structured and consistent format, such as JSON, which allows other applications to easier read and analyze the logs. This way, logs can be centralized and collected by logging infrastructure so we can access all application logs from a single location. So let's have a look on how we can write structured logs in Go. Since Go version 1.21, there is a new package called slog that allows to write logs in a structured way. Aslog provides four log levels, debug, info, warn, and error. Each level represents a different severity of log messages. Debug, for example, is for less critical logs typically used during development, info for routine information, warn for potentially harmful situations, and error for handling application errors. In this example, all log messages were printed except for the debug message. The reason is that the log level defaults to the info level and hence the debug message was suppressed. The default configuration also prints logs in the plain text format, similarly how the old log package would do it. The architecture of the slog package is based around the logger, also called the frontend, that passes records to a handler, also called the backend, to print out log messages. Therefore, slog allows us to customize the log format using handlers. By default, the logger produces plain text output and writes it to the standard output. We can also change the log format to JSON using the built-in JSON handler. Also note how we change the default log level to debug when we configure the handler. The setDefault function replaces the default logger with our custom logger. Once set, the package level logging functions will produce logs in the configured JSON format. Note that the default logger from the old standard log package is also modified. This means that any existing application that utilizes the log functions from the old log package will automatically transition to structured logging. Aslog also allows us to add key value pairs to our log messages so we can provide more context to each log entry. For instance, by attaching a user ID to all log messages associated with a user, we can easily locate all related log entries across various services for that specific user. In this example, we add a key value pair to a handler with a key service and the value worker. Thereafter, every log statement we create will automatically include these values. We can also add some custom attributes to individual log statements when we want to provide some additional information. The slog package also provides functions that accept a context object to read values from. To be able to do this, we can create a custom handler that embeds another handler such as the JSON handler. This JSON handler will provide all the basic functionality, while a custom handler will only serve as a decorator that enriches log statements with values from the context. In this example, our custom handler reads the request ID from the context and adds it to the log record. If this video was helpful for you, please consider liking or even subscribing to the channel for more content like this. Other than that, I wish you a wonderful day and see you next time.